Hello, I'm going to show you how to make this twisted headband using this beautiful star stitch. To make this headband I used a 7mm crochet hook and some chunky uh, size 5 yarn and you also need a measuring tape because we need to measure the size of the head first so you know how long you want your um, headband to be so first measure the size of your head let's say your head is 20 inches you will make your headband about two to three inches shorter than what your head is so let's get started take your yarn and your crochet hook and this pattern is made out of um, even number of stitches so I'm going to chain 24 but if you want to make yours uh, a little bit wider or narrower you can chain uh, less stitches or more stitches but it needs to be uh, divided by, by two so it needs to be an even number now we're going to skip the first stitch and go into the second one from your hook and pull up a loop and do that with the third chain as well and then another time the fourth chain and then one more time so you will have five stitches on your hook then yarn over and pull through all five and to finish this half of the star you will just do a chain one and that creates that eye of a star don't do that chain one very tight because you'll now need to work into that eye so go into the eye and pull up a loop then go to the bottom of the leg of your star to pull up another loop and then into the next two change to pull up two more loops until you again have five stitches on your hook we're now going to uh, yarn over and pull through all these five stitches and again make your chain one which will be the eye for your star so let's do this really slowly one more time you're going into the eye of your star first to pull up a loop then you're going into the stitch which is already used at the bottom of the leg of your star and you pull up a loop and then going into the next chain yarn over and pull up a loop and into the chain after that so you're using up two chains at a time and yarn over and pull up a loop and you will have five loops on your hook again and then yarn over and pull through all five uh, and finish off with chain one and this is what you will be doing all the way until the end of this row so go into the eye go into the bottom of the leg and then into the next two chains and then yarn over and pull through all five loops and finish with chain one uh, carry on working in this way until you get to the end of this chain and you should have five stitch left over and we're going to do a half a double crochet into this stitch to finish this row and this will create the start of your star stitches we are now turning the work around chain two first and flip your work around and you work in opposite direction and you will be working into the eyes of this previous round you might find it easier to see them if you turn your work around and just Make sure you know where your eyes are, but it will become easier to find them as you work in. Into each eye, you are going to make two half a double crochet stitches, and that finishes off the star stitch. So you your star stitch is made using two rows going in one direction and then go in the opposite direction and this round is really simple just do um, two half double crochet stitches into each of the eye of the star 
what you made in the previous row and we get to the end of this row all you have to do now is make a half a double crochet into that original chain where you started from and this is probably the trickiest bit you have got to find the top of that chain and make a half a double crochet and this is the first row of stars done now turn your work around again and chain three to start your next row we're now going to do exactly the same so you keep the first chain from your hook and go into next two chains and then start picking up the stitches from your work again pick up the next two stitches and you'll have five on your hook and then pull through all five and then carry on like you did the previous row you're going into the eye then you're going into the bottom of the leg and then into the next two stitches and then yarn over and pull through all five and chain one to finish off this star and this is what we will be doing now until the end of the row again so you always make sure that you get five loops on your hook before you pull through all of them when you get to the end again you have this one stitch remaining and we're doing a half a double crochet into that stitch and now chain two turn your work around and you will be now making two half double crochet stitches into each of these eyes of your previous row keep going until you get to the end of your row and you have made two half a double crochet stitches into each eye and again we're finishing the row with a half a double crochet and we're ready to start the star row again so turn your work over again and you're starting with chain three so let's chain three one two three and don't forget to start your very first star from the chain don't go straight into your work so make your two first pull throughs into the two chains and then grab your next two stitches until you have five on your hook again and now you already know what you've got to do so you're going through the eye you're going through the leg at the bottom of the star and then the next two stitches and this is what you will be repeating now all the way until you've done the um, height or the length of your band what you measured out originally you will um, end your work uh, after the half a double crochet round here you go this is the one i made earlier and this is the length i wanted to make it to go around my head so just to measure it again it doesn't have to be exactly the the number of inches but just about roughly two to three inches less than the size of your head because we want a, a negative ease for this um, headband to stay put easily on your head so now you can see there's a right side of your work and the wrong side of your work now place your headband um, in front of you with the right side of your work facing you and we are going to uh, sew the ends together and create the twist so the um, bottom part will come across to meet the center of the top part and now your wrong side of your work is facing you line those sides up like this and then take the right hand corner and fold it over and then the left hand corner will go underneath to create the other fold so if you're looking around of your headband is now every side is the wrong side of your work facing you so just to make sure we've done this fold correctly 
you can hold this together with your fingers first and then just flip your headband over just to make sure that you have got a nice twist what you're happy with then uh, unflip it and all you need to do now is uh, sew through all of these four sides to get the yarn needle let's attach this end tail from our work and sew all the way around just go in, in from one end and out from the other end you just have to make sure that you catch in all the four ends of your headband and sew it together from one end all the way to the other end and then just hide your little ends and turn your headband around and you are ready to wear it thank you for watching